Hello, there it is, Father Ken Lau, and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. In my last episode, uh, I talk about prayer, and especially to those who are struggling uh, to pray. And in this episode, uh, I entitled it, Why Bother to Pray? And we need to start with the why. You know, we need to know the why uh, first so that it will motivate us to pray. And of course, the obvious reason is that Jesus uh, instructed us to pray at all times. Okay, pray without ceasing. Uh, but there are three reasons that I would like to share with you why we need to pray. The first one is praying is uh, spending time with God, you know, just like uh, as we spend time with other people uh, in order to get to know that person uh, and also uh, to trust that person and love that person. It also the same with us, you know, we need to spend time to get to know God, trust in Him, and fall in love with Him. Uh, uh, we, the second uh, reason is that we need to spend time in prayer with God because God is the source of love, uh, wisdom, and power, okay? Uh, first, He's the source of love, not other people. Uh, he's the source of love, so we need to turn to the source of love. And we all have that love tank in us that we need to fill up every morning with love from God so that it will overflow and uh, be able to share that love to others. He's the source of wisdom, and uh, imagine, uh, in Scripture, we, we saw how God um, gave wisdom to King Solomon, and he was able to uh, rule his kingdom with, with God's wisdom. And, and uh, how beautiful it is, you know, as, as, uh, as we experience that wisdom so that we'll be able to deal uh, with all the things that we have to deal in life, okay? Uh, he's also the source of power okay and uh, we know that we're powerless over sin uh, and also in in obeying his commandments that's why we need to turn to him who is the source of that power you know so that we'll be able to uh, abide by his will uh, in in our life the third reason why we need to spend time with prayer is that spending time with prayer um, quench the thirst of Jesus you know Jesus on the cross said I thirst and he's thirsting not for water uh, but for souls so as we spend time uh, in prayer we are we are quenching the thirst of Jesus for us you know and we are also there to console the heart of Jesus because you know he loves us so much that he wants to spend time with all of us but many people do not spend that time with him so for us, by spending uh, time in prayer with Him, we are consoling His heart, okay? So, so we need to make a decision to pray. And that means, you know, um, we need to um, discipline ourselves to sleep early at night so that we will wake up early in the morning. Um, Father Bob Bedard, the founder of uh, Companions of the Cross, once said that the decision to stay up late is the, is the decision to not pray in the morning, okay? I, I know many, maybe a lot of you are, are, are not a morning person, uh, but it's a decision. It's really a decision that you have to do every day to wake up early uh, in order to pray. And, you know, to set aside, to find a place where you will be able to find silence and solitude, uh, and that could be before your children wake up, okay? And uh, also finding the time, you know, uh, uh, I suggest you start with 15 minutes and then uh, work it up until it, it goes to one hour. Uh, for us priests, uh, Father Bob uh, Bedard would really encourage uh, all the companions of the cross priests to spend at least one hour uh, of our personal meditation prayer in the morning. And it is really um, um, encouraged to do it before the Blessed Sacrament. That's why here at St. Mary's, uh, Father Mark and I would, would start our day uh, in the chapel at 5.30, but sometimes we'll be there like 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the morning, and we'll just be there before the Blessed Sacrament uh, for an hour, okay? And uh, uh, Archbishop Fulton Sheen once said, the secret to my preaching is that I have never in 55 years missed spending an hour in the presence of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. That's where the power comes from. That's where sermons are born. That's where every good thought is conceived. 
So I hope uh, this would uh, give you the motivation uh, to pray uh, in the morning. Be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.